Alright. I'm still here at the lava. <laughs> I didn't even move since the previous episode. And I started hitting record again. Uh, I'm kind of interested in where that witch is. Because we heard the witch. We heard cave systems. We heard stuff. But we don't see stuff. So I want to see where that mobs are coming from. All that wonderful lifeness. I don't feel too good about this little area. Okay, let's go up. So I don't hear anything anymore. Hmm. And we are 14 up. Let's go on the other side of this wall. Because there might be something on the other side. See, now I'm hearing things again. Sounds like Enderman, which means there has to be a good size base over there. Well, the Enderman won't spawn. Let's go straight. Oh, here we go. Only one way for mobs to come from. Oh, eh. Alright, and we got the creeper. So this is a oh diamond. So this is gonna be another like explorer and fight video. Except this is probably gonna be a lot more fighting than the previous one. Um well, here's some more mobs. But we need some more torches. That's why I'm in here, cubby hole. Alright. Sounds like there, yeah, there's another big case system. Doesn't matter how we went into here. Hello. Pat knows what's up. I like how he's just doing a, just spinning around there. Yeah, that's one thing I, I like doing is hitting guys from brown corners. Because um, their block and ent entity is still there. So even though you can't see them 100%, usually you can still hit them. All you do is usually just shoot into the area or the block, and you should be able to still hit them. The only time you won't is if they move. I think something's coming up. No, but ravine. That's nice. Yeah, I usually just go in a straight line and when exploring, until I get to an obstacle, obstacle like this. Yeah, and see, nothing's going to come through here at all. Yeah, so it, that that's secure. And then we can go right here, the torch up here, or right there. Yeah, this this is all still nicely lit. Throw a torch in the torches along this wall, and going back. Um, create a natural barrier right here. And take us more blocks. I want that stone. <laughs> Not stone, that gold. And I don't think anything's going to go around the edge there. So let's wait. 
let's come back here for iron later. Right now, I'm more interested about securing the place. Is there something up there? I'm trying to not increase the light levels so I don't cheat. Yeah, there was a high level guy right there. He's dead. <laughs> I don't see him dropping any enchanted bow. Enchanted bow would be nice, but I'm only gonna go down there for it if the bow got dropped, which doesn't look like it. Yeah, well. So this is very broken up land. Is that a mushroom or a flower? That's a mushroom. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm, iron. So we covered a lot of land already. We need to already need more little torches. Let's just use that up. Where is my exit? Where is my exit? Here it is. I would like to get the gold. Yeah. Iron, we can come back for gold. It's nice to grab now. Because we're not going to find a lot of gold, so more likely our inventory is not going to get completely full of that. Iron, we probably would be. I had that has happened to me before. Also, iron is just about everywhere. Um, I do hear lava, so let's mine this all out first to make sure that there's no like lava underneath. I would hate to lose lava, I mean, diamond, to lava. It looks like there isn't going to be any lava. Alright, so let's just mine this. This is we got one, well, two levels of fortune. We pretty much guaranteed more diamond than usual. And because I don't like dark areas being left unlit. There we go. And we can just dig across. There we go. And we can drop that down by one. Alright. And everything is still lit. Uh, how long did it take me to do all that? Only eight minutes? Jeez. Let's go across, across. Oh. Ooh, gold. Gold, gold, gold. Mm, light, light, light. Light my darkness. Light, 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 light. Uh, and this is technically a dead end. I see nothing of value immediately in the area, but it's also very short. Yeah. I don't want to jump in there if it was going to be like cave systems because then anything can jump out at you. Alright, it looks like there is also more cave systems. Yes. A little more cave down that way. Um, I don't expect to ever come here again so I'll get the iron. And now that pretty much all the caves that we have explored is done, we can probably, yeah, probably just start mining out all the iron that we see. Because I don't expect to do much more on this journey. But let's head over here. Because I see dark area, and I see mushrooms, so there is definitely something over there.
Is that too dark in here? No, it's 11. Okay. Oof. Um, torch. I don't know how dark it is in here exactly, but I'm not going to risk it. Uh, let's just take this. I don't see anything else. Yeah, this may just be a dead end cave now. But hey, it was worth it because we got some more gold, some more diamond. I feel as if we should get the gold first. While my finger is getting too tired, I'm holding shift. Uh, since this is like the level of the lava sea, I don't think there'd be any lava underneath here. Because you can see that it's all being encroached by stone. I could be terribly wrong. I could fall in lava right now. But as you can see, I didn't. Because I'm too good for my own good. And do that. Alright. So, we got 20 diamond. I think we can make pants now. <laughs> yeah, I think we can definitely make pants now. So this has actually been a very success successful mining run. And I just started doing what one of my friends do, which is just mine in one direction until you find cool stuff. I don't like that method she uses. Because it doesn't seem very realistic, but... Today, I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, if the game already programs the diamond to only spawn in one little chunk per area, and if you remember from the iron golems, even though that is a fairly small area, that is still, actually, was it iron golems? No, I was doing it with the, with the skeleton spawner, I was checking chunks. That does look like a fairly big area, but... Then again, if you go like mine these two blocks and go over by two, mine these two blocks like I was doing, like the typical um, mining, mine stripping, then you're going to be missing out on a, like, you're just mining more than you have to, because as soon as you find one piece of diamond, you should really go like six blocks away into the next chunk. Or less into the next chunk. You just have to go into a new area. Because why are you doing all this extra mining? You already found the one piece of diamond for the entire chunk area. You're not going to get anything more out of it. Unless you want gold or iron or whatnot. Any more torches? Uh. Air multiple zombies. I doubt it's going to be a um a spawner. My luck isn't that good. Also, I'm really not interested in another skull spawner. I would like to get that di iron, but it's a pie. Okay, why is there moans and everything? Oh, oh. Oh, at least you opened up the place for me. Hey guys, 
I, I'm sorry, I didn't bring the keg. Yeah, real sorry about that, and I know that's why they're upset, because I didn't bring the beer for the party. Oh well. At least I brought peace to them. Alright, so. There's a skeleton. I see a skeleton! Hello! See, that's the one time that. Oh. Yeah, using a shield is convenient. My problem is now, as a doctor, if there was more creepers or whatnot, I would be dead. As good as dead. Uh, torch, torch, torch. See? Creeper, didn't even see him. It's too dark for me. <sighs> torch, 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 torch. <laughs> I don't think I need to do that last torch, but I didn't anyway. Alright. Alright. Gold. Are we full on inventory? Yes, we're just about full on inventory, so. We're done. It Exploring. Let's just have a watch on. Can we mine a little bit more? We may have to drop like a spider eye on the way back. Uh, I'd rather keep the. I don't need string right now. And we may want to get large supplies of it all at once. So we don't need just one piece of string. I'd rather keep, keep the one spider eye because we can do some immediate. Um potion making with that once oh we gotta that's another thing we gotta do we gotta make potions I'll get the rest of the iron later yeah we gotta go back and get some more blaze powder and to do that we need blaze rods so looks like we're going into the nether like at some point in the future maybe we could do that next episode because we already have a blaze spotter so we don't need to go running around and looking for blazes. We can just use the spawner that's there that the game has provided. Um, now the main thing is how do we get out? And I remember this. So this is the correct way. And I remember that. So that is the correct way. And let's just go. Uh, we wouldn't mind everything over here. Uh, redstone, not too interested right now. Full inventory, after all. Alright. Oh, we could use. Let's mine out this little bit of redstone. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're gonna level up. Way too much redstone. Now that I got a new stack, I want to finish up that stack too. That's the most, the number one complaint I have about redstone is once you start getting redstone, you get tons of redstone easily. And even when you want just a little bit. Did you just spawn here? I think you did. So you spawned around here, and just so I don't forget, we're going to have to put some wood right here. Yeah, you're just at the near the entrance of the tunnel too. Um, I oh, see there is multiple. If you spawned exactly up here, oh, see they're in the middle of two chunks. I think you spawned like over here. I don't think you spawned over here. I think you you definitely spawned like over here. 
because I heard a couple jumps. Might as well mine out this area and this area looking on the map. So, um, we'll worry about it another day. Yeah, because right now the main thing is we need to dump off our inventory. And we're already just about the ending point of this episode. So let's go make the pants and put it on the armor stand. <sighs> I'm going to use the elevator because I made it. I keep forgetting about it and I keep using the ladder. I want to use the elevator because I made it. And it's quick and I don't have to keep press down the buttons with my finger. It's relaxing. I just keep forgetting about it. Because I'm talking and doing this. Oh, do I need an empty hand? Um, Alright, put that down there. Gonna need six, seven diamonds. Make that into pants immediately. Can you make pants upside down? No. That would be hilarious. Hilarious! Everything's hilarious. I say it way too often. Alright. And yeah, might as well start cooking off a stack of uh, iron. Because we have it. And that was the entire point of getting the iron anyway. So yeah, we got exactly a stack of iron. That's cool. Might as well cook off a stack of this since we have that as well. Uh, can't find an empty spot for it. Alright. Um, iron, oh, cobblestone, gravel, bones, yeah, and we're already done putting that all in, and cool. Alright, can we actually pick up that now? Yes we can. Can we swap that out? Yes. Done. Done. Uh... Or have the iron sword on me. Okay, so I'm breaking three. Pfft, sure. We'll take the unbreaking three on a, iron, on a diamond sword. And knock back two. It gives me plenty of room to upgrade it. Awesome. My thing is with diamond swords, I don't want to put fire on it. Because then the enemy jump all over the place. And that's really annoying. So, I don't want fire my sword. I do on my bow, though, because I didn't teleport away from the bows anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and... What else? I don't know if that was everything, because now we don't have death levels to do anything else, but... We have a full set of diamond armor. We can swap that out at any point. I'm probably going to use the iron equipment a little bit longer. Because I still need this all enchanted out. And the other bit is. We then have to decide if it's better to trade with villagers. Or to make books and just enchant stuff ourselves. The grinder is a little bit far away. So to get experience we have to go far away and then come back. Or get like an insane amount of levels, then come back and just use it all at once. So there's multiple things we have to keep concerned of for the next episode. But I may just do potions next episode, because I haven't done that yet. All I did was prepare these bottles and put this nether wart in. But I don't even have a farm yet for this. All the farming supplies is in here still. So we might just do potion focusing for next episode. So yeah, we'll do that. 
and see you guys later. Bye!